Hello everyone, I'm Kat. Uh, hopefully you've seen me before. If not, um, I am one of the Ox Vloggers. <laughs> Sorry, that was so weird. Um, I am doing a Masters in Experimental Psychology right now. We'll be switching over to Neuroscience next year, doing the Masters and then hopefully the DPhil. Uh, I am at St. Anne's College for just a little bit more, like a month. To, uh, and then we'll be switching to Teddy Hall or St. Edmunds Hall, I think it's officially called. Um, yeah, welcome to Oxwalk. This is just me awkwardly walking around with my phone trying to film things. Um, yeah, so this is part of the Moving to Oxford mini series thing, and I wanted to talk about transportation. So, if you are living in college, which I believe all freshers have to, um, then depending on where your college is and how central it is, you might get away with just walking to most places. If you're a medic, definitely get a bike, um, because you will have lectures at the hospitals which are quite far away, they are in Headington, so definitely get a bike. Be aware that there are a lot of hills though to get to the hospitals, yikes. Um, yeah, so you don't necessarily need a bike if you live very centrally, but obviously by the time you maybe move out of halls, uh, you'll definitely want a mean of transportation and uh, it'll just be a lot quicker to not just walk. Like I have people in my course who walk, but it takes them like half an hour to get everywhere and then they end up like not going to a lot of places because they don't feel like walking that much. So try and get a bike if you can. Um, some tips on bikes, first of all, don't buy a new one, necessarily. Um, it's best probably to get a used one. Bikes get stolen a lot in Oxford, so it's best to not have the fanciest bike ever um, so that it's not that obvious and not like the target of stealing. A good place to get a used bike uh, is the Facebook group Oxford Students Swap and shop. Um, I will link it down below. So most people are selling their bikes there. Then there are also bike stores um, that are selling used bike as well. So the ones I know of are pretty much all in Cowley. Um, there's Cycle King and others, which I will link below. Um, and they have definitely kind of affordable bikes that are used. Um, and so for example, I bought my bike last summer off the Facebook group. Uh, for about 80 pounds, I can show it to you. Um, I've actually decided to sell it, um, or not actually sell it. Um, I actually got a different bike, a refurbished one that's a bit better quality because I'll be staying here for longer. And yeah, I just wanted like a higher quality bike. So, okay, I can't swap around the camera. So let me just do this. Ta-da! <laughs> Here's my bike, um, the one that I bought used um so yeah it's perfectly fine get like a normal bike you don't really need anything fancy um make sure you get a good lock get a helmet because obviously you don't want to injure yourself uh, biking on the road can be a little terrifying in the beginning and yeah so get a used bike if you do want a new bike um argus argos i don't really know how to say that um, they sell uh, new bikes at a reasonable price. If you really want to lash out, I mean, you can buy a bike for like 500 pounds if you want, but I don't see why you would do that. Um, yeah, other than that, you can obviously take the bus, but really depending on where you are, the bus will probably take as long as it would to walk, and cycling is definitely the fastest. Um, that kind of depends on where you are. If you're kind of in the Cowley area, East Oxford area, definitely the bus doesn't make any sense. Like, it'll just take forever um, because you need to switch buses and all of these things. Um, don't do it. I don't recommend. Bikes are really seriously the way to go. Um, yeah. What else? Ooh, uh, the Oxford Bus Company also has this kind of new thing called Pick Me Up, which is this, like, small van bus thing that or several that drive around Oxford and you can book over the app so it's kind of like an on-demand bus system so you say where you want to get picked up and where you want to get dropped off and, um, and they'll tell you when they can pick you up so it's not like uber or a taxi or so where it's kind of quick 
Um, it can be anywhere between like 10 minutes to an hour to like them not being able to pick you up. Um, but when it works, it is quite cool because it's kind of like an Uber for the price of a bus ticket. Um, so I will link that app down below as well. Sorry, the dishwasher is making weird sounds. <laughs> um, yeah, what else can I say? Um, getting to the airports, probably. So, the least accessible airport from Oxford is Stansted, which is unfortunate because that's where most of the cheap flights are from. Um, so, there is a direct way of getting there, which is by bus. Unfortunately, well, it's not that direct um, because it stops at other airports and it takes can take between three to five hours. For a journey that by car would take one and a half hours. So what I've done uh, in terms of getting to Stansted is actually taking the train to London Paddington uh, and then switching over and then taking the Stansted Express um, because that is just the fastest. Other than that, um, there are buses that run pretty much all day and all night uh, to the different airports or you can take the train. I always recommend taking the train just because it's so much faster and I personally just don't really like buses but <laughs> that's up to you. I think the buses are a bit cheaper. They do take longer um, but I mean you just get in and you get out at the airport so that's all up to you I suppose. Um, yeah. Other than that, just talking a bit about my day. It's been a very busy week. Uh, today is the last day of exams for my partner. Um, he doesn't want the traditional Oxford trashing <laughs> and all of that, so I'm waiting for him to come back. And I got some, if I could figure it out, I got some beautiful flowers uh, from a local florist on Cali Road. Um, I will link them down below as well. So. Yay, beautiful flowers, always nice as a gift. Um, there's also a really nice florist in the covered market, which is more central if you want to get something there. And then I baked a beautiful uh, chocolate vegan cake with some raspberries on top. Sorry, I'm doing all of this with like the front facing camera or whatever it's called, like the, the selfie one, um, <laughs> because you can't switch somehow. So yeah, yay. That's things that are happening. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions for next things to cover on this mini series, then let me know.